Hi, my name is Jen, and I'm going to be doing a editing blueprint in Lightroom 3 today, along with the help of two-year-old Tucker. Can you say hi? He's not going to say hi, but you might hear him sing, so just be warned. All right, so this is my before and after of this image. This is raw, straight at a camera, and then this is after I make some adjustments. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did along the way. Um, so first of all, let's get to the original straight out of camera. All I've done is import it. All right, the first thing I want you to do is make this amazing brush. This has saved me tons of time and I love it so much. So come over here to your adjustment brush and I call it a background boost. So you can adjust these however you want. If it's not showing, hit this little arrow to expand it out. Um, so I leave my exposure the same for my brightness at seven. Contrast at 46, saturation 34, clarity 11, and sharpness at 8. And then I keep my feather at 59 and my flow changes depending on the image. I'm going to put it up to around 65. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is adjust. We're not going to use this yet. So the first thing I want to do is kick up my exposure a tiny bit. I don't put my exposure up too high because it tends to flatten out the image, but this one was a smidge underexposed as all of my pictures are. So we need to adjust a little bit. Let's bring the brightness up a bit. Um, that looks about right. It's not, not blowing out. You can see all that detail. All right. I also, thank you for singing, Tucker. I also think it's a little bit cold, so I'm going to boost up the temperature a little bit. You can also do this with their predefined, but I I feel like they turn a little magenta-y for me. So let's see, I'm gonna turn up the temperature. That oh, looks about right. Boost up the tint too, so it's not too yellow. Thank you for that. Also, Tucker. All right, I like that right there. Okay, so I like this picture. It looks pretty good. Let's zoom in. I'm going to um, get rid of a little bit of this darkness here on her face, and then I obviously need to do a little bit of noise wear. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use the exposure brush, um, and then I'm going to reduce the size and then just paint it right over the dark spots of her face. I can have it show me where I've painted if I want to, and then while it's not showing me, I'm just going to turn up the exposure a tiny bit. And that blends it pretty well with the image. We can go way up and make it look like a total wackadoodle, but that looks about right right there. It keeps the detail, and then when we zoom out, it's going to minimize that, but not quite so bad. So let's do that and call it good. Um, one thing we can do to see if it actually looks good is look at the before and after. Wow. And yeah, that does look better. Okay. So now the wow. the background looks good, but it looks kind of flat mm -hmm. because it's a it's a from raw instead of JPEG. So I need to boost up the background. So let's go find that brush that I told you to make, bump up the size, and then just paint it on back here. It's gonna be a very subtle adjustment, but it's gonna be awesome. This brush is so subtle that it's not a big deal if you overlap. I'm gonna go ahead and just paint their clothes just to give them a little boost too. Um, so there we go. It's going to kind of deepen and brighten and contrast all in one. So um, I got that on there. Let's see how it looks. Hold on, Tucker. Okay, so um, before the brush stroke, after. It's amazing, right? So um, that's about it. Let's throw a little bit of noise reduction on here. Just a tad. Since my ISO is at 800, so there you go. Um, that's my before and after, and um, that's a great simple way to boost your image without doing a bunch of actions and presets. Just one simple brush and minor adjustments. Um, so this is Tucker and Jen signing off.